Welcome to another video. For those who don't know me, I'm Nati. I'm your favorite software developer. If I was not, now I am. Today we're gonna to be answering 10 most frequent asked questions by beginners. So if this is something that you were looking for, stay tuned and let's get into the video. Our first question will be, what is software development? It can simply be explained as a process which includes designing, building, testing, maintaining software applications, which is written in one or more programming languages by a software developer, a programmer, coder, however you refer to them. And uh, these uh, applications or these programs are meant to run on the web, on your computer and uh, your phones. So that's what basically software development is. So the next question is, uh, what are programming languages and which one should you learn first? So programming languages are a set of instructions used to describe what the program should do or what your software application should do. So we have various programming languages which includes, uh, which includes but are not limited to Python, JavaScript, uh, Java, C Sharp, there are many more. But for beginners, it is most recommendable that you use Python. I used Python, Python myself as a beginner and because of its ease of use, and it's simple syntax and uh, a lot of uh, artificial intelligence uh, going on people are more likely to be interested in AI which is also a bonus but I recommend Python to begin with because of its simple syntax and ease of use easier to grasp. Question is what's the difference between back end and front end? To put it in simple terms is front end is more concerned with the development on the user side which is what the user interacts with when you go to a website and you see uh, your login page where you're supposed to fill out your details and you're supposed to click on something and then that is uh, front-end development and then uh, back-end development is concerned with the server side which includes the databases the logic of the app where we take the information from the front end where you have filled in your login information and we verify that it's actually you. The logic behind that is done that going to the database and comparing your passwords and checking if you're the right person to allow you into the app. That is back-end development. Fourth question is what is uh, version control and why is it important? So version control, we can simply explain it as a tool that, will, uh, that allows developers to be able to keep track of their changes in their code and be able to collaborate with people or other developers and it's important because uh, you can be able to keep track of your changes and know when something went wrong, when was the last time it was working fine and then you can revert to when it was fine and you can also allow uh, a community of developers or team of developers to work together even if they are not on the same place. So version control is something that is used uh, by developers to keep track of their changes, collaborate with other developers and so many more. Our fifth question is what are databases and what you need to know about them? Databases are a collection of data that is stored in a way that is easier to uh, retrieve information and also store information. What you need to know about them is they are very important part of an application because uh, it's not going to be an application if you're not going to be able to store data and able to retrieve data. So most of the common databases will be MySQL, MongoDB and many more. Another question is uh, actually a funny one, what are bugs? So a bug is uh, a flaw in your program that makes it to behave in a way that's unexpected. It can be something that maybe it shows incorrect data, it causes the application to crash, or maybe it's a, uh, I'm not sure, just that a program is not functioning as it's supposed to. So you need to do something that is called debugging to try to find the root of the issue and why the program is not behaving as expected which is the bug so you need to find the bug and I've noticed that we are on 900 subscribers let's try to get it uh, to a thousand subscribers before the month ends and I'll give you a proper Q&A and I will answer all the questions no matter how long it is another one of the questions that I get the most is how do I get started up in uh, software development or as a programmer? So the field is way too vast or it's way too huge. Sometimes it can be overwhelming to some of the people and I think it was to me at some point. So the first thing you want to do is pick a specialty, whether you're going to be front end or you're more interested in the back end. 
But other than that, you start, you will need to understand basic fundamentals of programming, which I've recommended Python. So you want to start, you start with Python or you start with whatever, maybe you are more comfortable with JavaScript. Understand the basics of fundamentals or fundamentals of programming. You need to object-oriented programming, all of those stuff. Just start off with the basic, understand everything from the build-up or from the ground-up. After that, you can pick your front end or your back end, and then now you can actually turn into the language that is used. Maybe you start off with Python, and then now you are going to web development. We all know that we need JavaScript into web development. So now you're gonna start learning JavaScript, but the easier thing now is you have the fundamentals of programming. You know the basic stuff, you know what a variable is, you know you know what's a method, you know you know the basic stuff so it's gonna be much easier transitioning into learning javascript now and then you focus on web development step at a time you do your html you do your css you do javascript after that you can create a project that will actually uh, reflect what you know something that you can also put on your github or you can use a, as a future reference to when you're applying for a job and then you can actually now advance your knowledge of JavaScript. That's when you start moving into the libraries. You can go React, you can go Angular after that. You have Next, you have TypeScript, and then that's how you uh, start into programming in my humble opinion. Bear in mind, I'm not an expert. I'm just here to help you out and uh, try to make it easier for you. And I'm just sharing it from my point of view. So I think that's the best way to start in with uh, programming and that's the foundation of it. After that, you can now uh, venture more into backend. You can even look into AI if you want to look to AI and continue with your Python. And there's, there's so much more, man. You just need to start with the fundamentals, uh, pick a specialty, focus on that. Once you're comfortable enough, you can move venture more into more areas. I hope it makes sense. Thank you for watching. I hope someone finds this helpful and they find it uh, insightful. And until we meet again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is your favorite dev. Peace, I'm out.